are you all today? You're watching Forbes India Beyond the Boardroom with me, your host, Ushnoda Paul. And today we have with us a guest who is undoubtedly one of the key players in the current men's cricket team in India. He was the ICC Emerging Player of the Year in 2018. His 89 not out took India to a historic win over Australia at the Gabba. It was in fact Australia's first defeat at the Gabba ground since 30 years. He is a middle order wicketkeeper batsman for the team and also the current captain of Delhi Capitals in IPL. We have with us today Rishabh Pant. What a pleasure. Rishabh, welcome to Forbes India Beyond the Boardroom. Thank you, thank you. The pleasure is all mine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're quite the class jester, if I may say so. You're known for your fun banter behind the stumps while a match is on. You even started singing the Bhojpuri Spider Man song during a test match in Australia. We all heard it. Uh, tell us yeah. some fun behind the scenes story. How does your teammates or the batsmen in concern react to this when you're doing all this? I think most of the batsmen don't understand what's going on because most of the time I'm talking in Hindi because most of the time we are playing outside India so most of them are foreigners so they don't understand the only thing I'm thinking is to enjoy my cricket and just disturb the batsman its mindset whatever he's thinking he might have to think about me Growing up, uh, did you always love cricket? Yeah, since childhood because I started playing cricket because my father wanted me to play cricket because he was also a wicketkeeper batsman. But as soon as uh, after third, fourth, fifth class, I was early enough to thought that I'm gonna play cricket professionally, and my family always supported me. So that was the luckiest part, I guess, because if you if your family can support you at the early days, especially yeah. my father used to own a school. So, it's more, uh, especially coming from a smaller town, you know, sometimes people say 10, 12 years back, PR, why you are playing cricket, your father is a teacher, thoda padai pe dhyan laka hai, and all those things people used to tell me. But my father always believed that you have to play cricket. So, here I am today. That's amazing. Which are the cricketers you grew up watching and who are the ones that really inspired you with that journey? Actually, there are so many cricketers, especially my boy is there. Adam Gilchrist used to be one because I've seen him enough. Virubia is there, Sachin Paji. Because when I was young kid, all these players were playing the cricket. Yes. So, I was fortunate enough to saw them on the TV and all those things. Trisham, you actually moved to Delhi at a young age with your mother to train better and play cricket. Tell us your memories from then. Uh, do you think uh, you lost out on a basic regular childhood because of it or you were just following your dreams that time? I think that time I didn't thought about that I'm losing my childhood. I could have done differently sitting with kid, playing indoor game and all those outdoor sports. Don't have to think about my life too much professionally at that young age. But I think it's both. I lost something but I got something because end of the day you, as a kid, you dream for something and later on, if you can do the same thing in your life and you can achieve that, that's the biggest thinking as a kid you have here, I want to play for India. But later on, when you go and play for India, yes, you can think about that here, I missed my childhood and all those things. But I think I was working for this thing only since my childhood and once I got it, I can't be saying that yaar, I could have got better. Tell us your memories from that time, the time when you moved with your mom to Delhi and you used to train over there at such a young age. What are your fondest memories from that time? I think the fondest memory is uh, the travel because when I used to come from my hometown Rurki to Delhi for practicing, I didn't move properly that time. I used to travel a lot between my hometown and Delhi. Yeah, so I used to take roadways, buses for that with my mom early like there was no highways that time nowadays the highway is much better full lane highway I can see that because I've seen that whole highway building up through my journey actually so when I started I used to take six seven hours from the bus to come to Delhi so I used to take early bus around 2 30 or 3 o'clock in the morning and then I used to come practice here then sometimes I used to go to my relative places. Sometimes I used to stay in Gurdwara with my mother because 
gurudwara was much more closer to the practice ground so i thought it's much more easier to stay there because next day i used to go back to my hometown again and that was the fondest memory actually this is an amazing very inspirational journey rishab but i also hear that you are an amazing babysitter to your teammates kids you did that with tim tim pains kids is it true yeah you know as a kid when you have a very big family like as a kid we used to go to all the relative places in summer vacation and all those things and there were so many my uh mom's brothers kids and all were there so we used to play together and so there is some connection between me and the kids always so whenever i get chance so i like to play with the kids a lot because in the team other team members kids i just love playing so what happened there was an incident when he was trying to banter me during the test match he was telling that oh you should come and play for hobart there is a big bash cricket team I'll give you a good balcony if if I'll go out with my wife for a dinner I might give you my kids for babysitting and all those things so it was a very funny banter going on during the match he was trying to distract me <laughs> so later on what happened we went to prime minister house for a lunch and his actually wife and kids were there so we were just standing there and I took a picture <laughs> because I thing with them so we took a whole family picture kind of thing and it got viral uh rishab do you remember that particular moment you donned the national team's jersey for the very first time with your name on it mm, yes i remember I, actually i made my debut in, in uh october i don't remember the particular date but i still remember that feeling because see as a kid you always believe that one day i'm going to play for india there is that so many dreams are there as a kid but once you get there and you have that opportunity in front of you like i was having literally goosebumps all over the place I was thinking this was the dream i used to think a lot as a kid and now I'm here playing for India for the first time. I made my debut at Bangalore ground. We were playing against England only. And actually in same match I batted with Mahi Bhai. So it was kind of something dream debut for me because I scored some 10 15 runs not much but batting with a person whom you look up to as a kid is something inspirational I guess. Did you tell MSD that you are this big fanboy of his? I uh, see I am little bit shy person I don't tell my feeling all the time but little bit I have told him that this is a scenario I like you as a person I like you as a player I like you as a mentor also but I just try to keep my feeling to myself and just live it <laughs> I I hope uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni watches this show and he'll finally know what Rishabh Pant feels about him In the current uh, Indian cricket team, Rishabh, who would you say is your buddy that you are the closest to? I think Akshar Patel is there, Rohit Bhai is there. If ever a biopic is made on you later, which actor do you think can play you the best? Maybe Ranveer Singh. Like you mentioned, you were born in Roorkee. It's in Uttarakhand. What are your fondest childhood memories from that? I used to go to the school by bicycles. So my school was inside the Delhi can oh sorry Rudki can area <laughs> so I used to ride my bicycle from my home to the school and in between we used to there were so many like trees and all the way going to the school so sometimes we used to stop in between and you know plucking fruits from the trees and all those things throwing stone at the trees getting that fruits so it's one of my fondest memory of childhood i guess are you a foodie do you love food <laughs> i am a big foodie <laughs> i love everything especially alu ka paratha chole bhature the so many things there is pani puri at my hometown what's your favorite cheat day meal two things actually chole bhature and alu ka paratha and your mother's uh... alu ka paratha from my mom's hand Ah. And Chole Bhature, there is a person in my hometown, two three person whom I used to eat <laughs> when I was a kid. I used to go with my father 
my father was also a foodie so me and him both used to go together halka sa chole bhature khate lenge so that was actually a very good memory of me Jude. How do you think that Chola Bhatura guy from your hometown is going to react now if Rishab Pant comes there to eat that Chola Bhatura? One, he'll be amazed. Second, he'll be very happy that I still remember him. Which are your favorite cars? Favorite car right now is Urus Lamborghini. And which one would you say is the most expensive watch that you own right now? There is a Rolex I have with diamonds and all those things. I'm not going to tell you the price, but it's one of my. <laughs> Rishabh, you are a fantastic season this IPL, and uh, you were the captain of uh, Delhi Capitals. Tell me some fun stories from the DC dressing room. <laughs> What do you guys talk about? Yeah, some of the banter is like, see, there are lots of foreign players which are playing in IPL and all those things. You know, when you play Hindi or Punjabi music, they don't understand what's going on. They just try to move their head, try right, for the dance and all those things. Understanding the beats because they know, don't know what's going around. Because there are a lot of Indians people in the dressing room. They understand what's going on. So sometimes, in the, especially in the team meetings, also we talk in Hindi sometimes. So everyone, all these foreigners are looking at us. <laughs> what's going on? Are we playing any cricket, or they are talking just funny things because they don't know, they don't understand what's going on. So it's kind of funny in the dressing rooms. Yeah, there are so many things, but. Have you tried teaching a bit of Hindi to your fellow foreign uh, players? In yeah, actually, actually, there are few players who likes to learn Hindi. Actually, Sam Milling is one of them. Our physio Patrick is there. He understands most of the Hindi because he used to be working with Indian cricket team before, so he understands most most of the Hindi. So there are few. Even Ricky, our coach Ricky Ponting, is trying to understand a little bit oh. of Hindi. So they understand few of the words. But still, it's a long way to go, I guess. That brings us towards the end of the show, Rishabh. This was such a pleasure. So thank, yeah, thank you, so you much. Thank you. thank you for joining us tonight on Forbes India Beyond the Boardroom. And for our viewers, see you guys next week with another power-packed episode with another fabulous guest. Till then, take care.